What is up everyone? Welcome to another episode of World Record Wednesdays where we break or set a world record every single Wednesday. Now this video is not sponsored by this company, but the company called uh, The Pocket Shot sent me some of their products and I just really thought it'd make a cool video and I think you guys would enjoy it. This is The Pocket Shot. So this thing is like a, a slingshot. You put your ammo in there, you pull back, so we're gonna test its accuracy. Uh, we're gonna have a little challenge between Cassie and I. Uh, we're gonna see how strong it is, how strong it shoots. And then at the end of this video, we're gonna do a world record using some of the attachments, including this thing. And apparently you can add this attachment to have it shoot arrows, like a bow and arrow. So that's gonna be the last thing we do. Make sure you watch the end. Here we go. So I've literally never shot this thing before. We've got the practice ammo, just their little plastic pellets. They also sent like the metal real BBs. Uh, but we're gonna start just to see if I can hit this red cup with one of the practice pellets. Okay, so I'm gonna put the plastic pellet in here. I'm gonna hold on to it. And then just shoot. I have first, first attempt ever. It's hard to know like where to aim because there's no, there's no sights or anything. So here's what we've learned, shot number one. It is powerful. I should be wearing eye protection and we should not shoot it with a metal background. So hold on one second. Look at that, I actually brought a target. I don't know why I didn't put that up first. Got it, all right, third, third attempt. Hit my target from a decent, decent distance. It's pretty cool, it's, it's great. It really is, I mean, so, just so small. It is called the pocket shot. You can put it in your pocket. Boom. So it's pretty accurate. It didn't take me that long to hit the target a couple times. I was thinking it'd be more difficult because there's there's no sights, there's no like any like scope or anything to look through. You just kind of have to hope it shoots straight. It is definitely powerful, but I want to test and see how powerful it is. Um, and I think I brought something that'll be a good test for that. Okay, we've got 10 plates lined up and we're gonna see how strong the little pocket shot is. You guys might remember that video we did uh, with the crossbow. And so we're gonna do the same thing we did there. So leave a comment, how many plates do you think it's gonna shoot through? Think just one, think all 10, somewhere between. Pause the video right now and leave a comment. All right, let's figure it out. Here we go, three, two, one. It didn't go all the way through. So it went through four plates. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting it to go through all 10, uh, but that was just with the practice pellets. Let's see what happens with the, the BBs, the metal pellets. Okay, so now we are using the, the metal pellets, the, the real ammunition for this thing. I'm pretty sure it's going through, going through all 10. and 10, all the way through. Here's the slow-mo. So wow, the slow-mo was going over 400 frames per second and you can still barely see the pellet moving at all. You just see the plates kind of move. So we're gonna slow down the slow-mo camera even slower to almost 1,000 frames per second. Let's see if we can capture that, that little ball. quite the hole through all of them and it stuck pretty far into the, I can't even get it out. Got it. Let's take a look at that slow-mo. So yeah, this one, that time it put some pretty serious holes through the plates and you can even see in the slow-mo the little pieces, the little pieces of plate just like flying out. Pretty cool. Also, you guys know we always refer to this gym as the really hot gym. Now it's the really but cold. Texas, gym. Texas is Texas, and so it went from being really hot to really cold. Well, Cass, I think we've we've tested it out pretty good. Are you ready to try it out? Yeah. And I'll give you a few warm ups, and then it's time for a competition. All right, Cassie's gonna get a couple attempts first, and show show them what you got. So this is the like the hand mount. 
Definitely easier to hold. I don't do well even with a scope. So without a scope, this could be entertaining. Pull back a little bit harder than that. I'm really bad at this, guys. There you Ooh, go. That was good. Practice. Last practice shot. Great. Oh, hit it again. Okay, good. You're ready. I'm ready. Now it's time for the challenge. Okay, so Cassie and I will both get five shots. There are six cups. The little ones are worth two. Big ones are worth one. Most points win. Cassie, how do you feel? I hit the board twice, so. <laughs> That is true. I feel like my aim has improved. Here we go. Miss. Oh no. Another miss. You getting nervous? No. How about now? Okay, a little nervous. You've got two more attempts to get some I points on the board. Something on the board. What the heck? Last shot. One point. <laughs> I got one. Neither of us are experts. That was not, <laughs> not a very good, impressive performance. So Cassie just has to hit one of those green cups or two red cups to beat me. Ooh. Miss. 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 Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. Last one. No way. <laughs> All right, it's a shootout. Oh, your turn. Okay, so if I hit, if I hit something, I win. You win. Uh -oh. Back to you. Oh. oh. I almost. Almost hit almost it on the way back. Yeah, I almost got it on the way back. Okay. Boom! Well, I, I'm not even that happy with myself because this, all this competition proved that neither of us are that good yet. Now it's time to attach the, the function to make this little thing into a bow and arrow. Okay, so we're swapping out with the arrow pouch. Gotta unscrew this. Okay, so it's ready to shoot arrows now, and we uh, have some arrows here, and including some, some rubber tips so that they're not gonna do much damage here in the gym as I get used to this. Wow, so even, even with the rubber tip, it went right through the cardboard. That's pretty cool. I haven't done archery or bow and arrow or anything in a very long time. That is pretty sweet. It's so crazy that like, you know, usually you have some big, big bow, but all you have is this little thing. You wanna try? Sure. Channel your inner Katniss Everdeen. Bruh. Or. Sure she'd be proud. Or not. Come on guys, hit that box. Atta girl. Nice. World record time, we have the uh, bow and arrow, well no bow, the arrow extension onto this thing, and we're just gonna try to hit the bullseye. The record will be the longest arrow bullseye shot not using a bow. Here we go. Gotta channel my inner Robin Hood. Almost. Katniss Everdeen! Look what I can do. Only shooting these arrows is as easy as juggling them. Close. Got it! Yeah! Nailed it. Feels good. It's pretty impressive how accurate 
this like piece of rubber and a ring is. And it's insane that it not only shoots the little balls, but the arrows. And I know what you're thinking, Josh, this is a really weird specific world record. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna pause it right there. Almost done editing this video. I never want to apologize for my content. I always wanna put out stuff that you guys will love and that I'm proud of. But I'm gonna be the first to say that that was not the most impressive world record that's ever been done in this series. But I wanna make it up to you by showing you some clips from upcoming world record Wednesdays. These are all from our partnership with Whistle Sports, which I know I announced a long time ago. They are coming soon. It just takes a little bit more time uh, when there's other people involved. And it's been crazy filming those while keeping up with current episodes of World Record Wednesdays. So I appreciate your guys' patience and understanding during this time, but I promise it's gonna be worth it. These episodes are going to be crazy. We do Instagram shoutouts every single video. Here are those two people today. Follow us at Heart of Horton, at Juggling Josh. Last thing before I go, Cassie and I are leaving in less than a week for Iceland and Ireland. It's going to be epic. We'll be posting a lot more videos about it on Cassie's channel. So if you haven't yet, go subscribe to Cassie. We love you guys. We've got videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So love for you guys to subscribe. Let's go to the